Hello YouTube, Dr. Sola. Good morning. Um, so this is day five using Solar X. And um, I've struggled with just one battery. So I'll give you a little bit of history and then we'll go back and I'll tell you why I did this video. Um, if you've not subscribed, please click the subscribe button. I've been reading the stats uh, for this year Majority of my viewers came from the United States and South Africa. Nigeria is a distant third, but um, for the month of November and December, uh, South Africa and Nigeria on top, and USA is third, the Philippines is the fourth. So I want to thank all of you that uh, subscribe to my channel and watch my videos. The other stat that disturbed me a bit was that 77% of you that watch are not subscribers, so please, what are you waiting for? Click the subscribe icon so that I can notify you whenever I post new content. Okay, so back to my Solar X. Um, I've been playing this little game where every evening I turn the refrigerator off and I turn the freezer off. And then I also turn my AC off and then when I go to bed I turn it on. The downside of turning the AC off is that it uses a lot of energy to bring the room back to temperature and that defeats what I try to accomplish. So I'll give you a perfect example. This morning, I woke up at um, two, three o'clock, I was warm. The battery was at 60%. When I put the AC on, um, by the time it was seven, the battery was down to, the battery was down to um, 17%, 18%. So that's something that we don't want to happen. So back to my reason for doing this video. So when we put this up last week, we could not connect this battery. And the reason we couldn't connect this battery was because the dial, the rotary dial on top of the master battery, supposedly was defective. So no matter how much, you know, we spun it, well, we, we spun it a little bit to the setting of one to reflect this plus that battery, and it wasn't picking it up. And then we set it to, I believe, five, for emergency use for off-grid to start it if we didn't have PV and it did not work. So after going through this last few days of minimal battery capacity, I made the decision to come and try again. So we unmounted the battery, opened the top, and then I spun the rotary switch 360 degrees and then put it to the setting. And then we, well, we did all the connections first. We did all the battery connections, the, com the communications connection, turned the breaker off. And then we did that. And then we turned the breaker back on. And um, we turned the battery, we turned the BMS on. And guess what? The green light came on. It wasn't blinking red or making that weird sound it was making. So now guess what? Let me show you what I have. So now I have, let me see if it's focusing, yep, it's focusing. Now I have, let me show you my battery voltage. Can you guess what my battery, battery voltage will be? Enter, my battery voltage is now 238 volts. And I'm only pushing five amps in, and those five amps are 1100 watts. Isn't it amazing? So on your standard, uh, on your low voltage system, five amps is nothing. A thousand watts would represent about, um, let's see, 20 amps on your standard system. So at this, at, this amp, at this amp and current level, our, what do you call it? Our system isn't getting hot because it's not pushing through a lot. Look, we're not pushing through eight amps, which is about 2000 watts. Wouldn't you love to see that? Eight amps representing 2,000 watts. And now the battery is actually charging properly. So it's taking a sweet time to charge. Before this battery was charging very fast. Now it's taking a sweet time to charge. So I look forward to running it fully tonight, um, getting maximum uh, use out of it, is what I, I look forward to. Look at that, 8.5 amps, 2,030 watts. So I'm pretty psyched. Um, they say if at first you don't succeed, try and try and try again. And um, the manufacturer had already started sending me a board to replace that bad, a board to replace the bad dial. 
and something just said, Christopher, go and try it, and we tried it, and here we are. We have full capacity. If you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up. If you had to subscribe, click the subscribe button. Um, as I said, as I told, as I said, I've monetized my channel, and the reason I monetize is it allows me to buy stuff that I can test, uh, so that you don't have to buy it and you don't have to test it. Once again, this is Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria. So here is the side of this battery. And that's the side of the other one.